Welcome to my channel, my name is Little Boy, and today I'm gonna share with you I enjoy a lot creating things on Final Cut Pro. I feel like I love spending time to figure it out. And why not share with you and hopefully I can help you and spice it up a little bit of your videos as well. But for you guys, it's gonna be much easier because I already did this image that we're gonna use and all these things that we need to make this effect happen. And I'm gonna give it to you. Make sure that you watch this video until the end. This way you're gonna be able to know how to apply all these things that I'm gonna provide to you. So I do tutorials here on YouTube. I don't make money. I don't make anything I just do for pleasure so if you'd like to support me subscribe and give it a like and let me know in the comment down below if this video helped you or if you have any questions I would love to help you to solve these problems or issues on Final Cut Pro or filmmaking stuff okay let's jump on Final Cut Pro I'm gonna show you how we're gonna create this effect I'm gonna use this take over here of me on the phone that I used on my oldest video we're gonna use this image text image clean and we're gonna drag on top of our file boom you see that's here already I'm gonna resize and then you're gonna go to text titles I like to go here and basic I just like to use basic title I recommend to do this first because then it's gonna save you a little bit of time just let's say hello how are you Boom. I'm gonna put here. We're gonna do another one. I hold Option to multiply. Just creating a little dialogue here, just so you guys can see how it work. Put this in the position that you want again. But now we're gonna select everything, and we're gonna do Option G. So we're gonna create a new compound clip. Okay. I'm gonna do text all, just so you know that's everything here. And then now everything here it's one so everything comes together okay and that's where the magic happens because we have one two three four balloons we can do one I like to hold option again and then we're gonna crop that and boom so that's the first one okay and then this it's gonna be the second one Boom. Now we duplicate again. This is gonna be just the face. Boom. This is gonna be I'm good thanks. Duplicate again. And this is gonna be the last one, but not least. Let's do something. As we can see here, let me close this tab so we can have a better view. Because we, we want to pop, one balloon appears at a time. So we're gonna start with hello, how are you? Boom. Hello, how are you? It's gonna start here. Then the next one is gonna be right after. Then the next one is gonna be right after. The next one is gonna be right after. And the next one is gonna be right after. Boom, 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 boom. See? But it's too fast. I'm gonna resize this. I like that time. Now I'm gonna duplicate this just to make it like longer. Or the other thing that you can do is hold shift H. Shift H, you're gonna create this hold. It's kind of like an image, okay? And this one, if it's perfect, okay? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect, I like that a lot, but we can always do better. One thing that I like to do now is to create like a little hologram effect. I'm gonna select all of this again, do another compound clip, option G, now we're gonna do a say 3d effect okay so everything is inside of this compound clip instead of transform we're gonna do distort and then i'm gonna bring this in a little bit and this in a little bit you see that looks like a little bit like a hologram i love that i'm gonna make it bigger just like this it's nice and we can bring the opacity down a little bit and I like to bring the saturation up just to make it pop. Oh, I like that, like that. Let's see. 
boom, boom. Come on, it's getting there. To be a little bit more realistic, we're gonna bring the sound up just a tiny bit. And I'm gonna give you an extra bonus because you're here learning and you're hungry to be better. So on the audio here, you see the sound effects. We're gonna go here on my tab, LB, and we have here iPhone lock screen effect. Nice, this is gonna be for the end. I press I to select the start point and O to select the end point here. Boom, I press Q and it's gonna export that to my timeline. And this we have iPhone text sound effect. I'm gonna give you that for you as well. Look at this. So I, O, and then every time that pops the image, I'm gonna press Q. This is one. I'm just gonna select the area that I see the sound. I'm gonna press M and I'm gonna make a mark point and I'm just gonna adjust, just like a little fade. This is one. This is another one. And then we can duplicate that again. And since we already did this mark, it's just dragged to the line and done. When I lock the phone, I want all the clips to just shut the phone. So I'm gonna delete this part, Command B. I'm gonna delete this and just gonna add Command T to do a little fade. But I just want a little bit. So when the sound starts, I'm gonna start the fade. Nice. Bringing this effect to life because without sound, there is not much fun. Look now, with the sound. Much better. That's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you learned something today. As a thank you for watching this video until the end, I'm gonna give you all the sounds, this image of the balloons for free. We are trying to grow this YouTube channel, so any feedback, it's always, always welcome. Give it a like and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.